Hi, my name is David Stewart. I'm a physical therapist here at Health Related Home Care. And I am Amy Geary, and I am also a physical therapist here at Health Related Home Care. And uh, we're here to go over some of the uh, hip exercises you may have been given um, after your total hip replacement. Now it's always important to follow your particular doctor's precautions on the surgery that you have because some surgeries are different than others, but this is a general baseline to go by. Um, the first one that we would like to do is something called hip abduction. And what Amy's going to do is just slide her heel out to the side and go right back in. Good, and the next one she's gonna do is something that um, we like to call heel slides, um, up and down. And what she's gonna do is she's gonna bend her knee and slide her heel up as far as she can, hold it for a second and back down. And I would not lift your heel off when you're doing this because you wanna make sure that you follow your hip precautions and if you keep your, your heel down on your bed, then you should be okay. Good, the next one we're gonna do is something that we call quad sets. Um, think of it as pushing your knee down into the mat and all Amy's gonna do is just push her knee down, hold it for a few seconds and then relax. Just like that. Good, and the last one we're gonna do is something that we Called bridging. Uh, what we'll do is you'll bring both your feet up and put them flat on your mattress and then what you're going to do is you're going to raise your um, bottom up off the mat or, or your bed, hold it for a second or two and then go right back down. And if you experience any pain when you get too high up, maybe don't go quite as high. Um, those are some of our exercises that we use for a, a hip replacement. It's not completely inclusive and always be sure to follow your doctor's precautions, but this should be enough to help you with some of the ones that you have if you've forgotten how to perform them correctly.